Good morning, my friends. This is Tanya at Side Gig Crafts. Welcome back to my channel to those of you who have been here before and welcome to those of you who have not. I hope you'll consider uh, subscribing to my channel and joining me on my crafty adventure. So this morning is Wednesday and I am making embellishments for Embellish With Us Wednesdays. I got my coffee here, got my, my project here. So I received some beautiful little flower rosette-ish things <laughs> in a swap one time and I thought I want to make them. I love them. I think they're so pretty and there's so many different things you can do. So this is the one I received. I've received several but this is one I have left and um, I think I've used most of them already during the Christmas and Valentine season and I just love them. Aren't they dar darling? But I didn't couldn't think of how to do it. So last night I sat down or couldn't, couldn't find a tutorial anyway and last time, last night, I sat down and figured it's not hard, super easy, but it looks complicated and it's just so special. So anyway, a lot of you probably know how to do this. Cool. I just figured it out. So um, I'm going to show you how to do it. Super quick, super easy. You guys will be like, how did she not know how to do that? So I made quite a few. It took me about an hour. I made I'll put all these together while I was watching a show and used up a bunch of my scraps. So if you are looking for a way to make something festive and cute and use up some scraps, this is a great way to do it. You can make them all sizes. Obviously, these are quite a bit bigger than hers. It depends on your hole punch. So, or circles. If you wanna use um, cut circles on your own, you can do that. But I'm gonna use my hole punch because it's way faster. So I've got some scraps out of my box. And um, these are some Christmas scraps. It won't matter because if I I don't have enough, you've got to have five circles the same size. I won't be able to get five circles out of this. So I'll probably just use this for a background for the, the base piece. So we need five circles. So let's do, let's see how many we get. One, even if I can get four out, no, I won't get four out of this. One, two, three. Okay, so I can only get three out of this one and that's fine. We'll use them for base pieces and um, that piece won't even show. So there we go. So let's see how many we can get out of here. So if I use one of these as a base, I can use four out of this one. So we'll just do that. One, two, three, four. Now I'm just gonna, well, I'm gonna save this one and punch the rest later. All right, so here's what we do. Take our base piece. I'm gonna turn it, you know what? Um, this isn't necessarily Christmas, this obviously is. I'm gonna use this piece up because that way, this piece isn't necessarily Christmas either, so I can use it either way. All right, I can use it all year, I don't have to wait for Christmas. So we're gonna take the first circle, we're gonna do this for all four. We're gonna keep one base and the, all four, we're gonna fold it in half. And then we're gonna fold this one in thirds. So we're gonna kind of mark where that third is. And we wanna line that edge up with this one and pinch this one. There's that. And then bring this side over to meet that side. Okay, and I'm just eyeballing it. I don't know if there's an easier way, but I'm just eyeballing it. So you're gonna have a piece like this, okay? And we're gonna do that to four of them. So let's do it again. Fold it in half. And this side, we're gonna fold it in thirds. I, I, I mark it kind of with my finger now. That's how I'm eyeballing. Make sure that that edge meets that edge. And then pinch it. And then do the same thing for this one. Bring this corner to meet this corner. Okay, and pinch it. Do it again. Half. Mark it, third, and if these aren't exact, it, it it doesn't make that much of a difference, but the closest you can get, the better. It looks better. Looks more crisp and clean. And then this corner to this corner, which I think is the draw of these. They're just so kind of perfect, you know? It's just a different look for me. So you got a little triangle there and one more. Half, third, and 
third. There we go. All right, now we've got our four little comb, I'll call them combs, and then we've got our base piece. Now what we're going to do is we are going to put some glue on this back side. And then we're gonna line up that edge of the cone all the way. We're gonna line it up as best as we can to the circle, okay? So it's gonna fit just like that. And I can actually push mine out a little bit more. There we go. All right, and I try not to push mine down too um, too hard at first, just because I might need to wiggle it a little bit at the end for that last piece. Then we're gonna line this one up. So we've got half of our circle covered. See how that's coming together? Pretty simple. A little glue on this one. Also like, um, I'm using this Nuvo glue because it doesn't set up quite as quickly as my Barely Arts, so I have a little bit more time to move my pieces. And then last but not least, this one fits right here at the last piece of the pizza. And then I kind of push them down and squish them so that there aren't, aren't any gaps in between. This paper's a little thicker than the ones I was using last night because you don't want to see that paper underneath. So you kind of want to push them to the middle so that they all join up. And there we go, that's it. Is that simple or what? And then you can use, you know, she used a little flower to decorate it. I'm not gonna decorate mine today because I don't know what I'm gonna use them for yet. So you could put a little flower here, you could put a button in the middle, you could put a bead, um, you could put a die cut, you can use them to layer. So whatever you wanna to do to make them make them special. And that is it, you guys. Totally simple, totally sweet. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, hit that subscribe button. Join my family. All right, you guys, happy Wednesday. Hope to see what you're making today. Have a great one, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.